performance of you guys tonight? Once we settled in, I think Coach hit on it. When you don't tackle for eight months, it was expected. Uh, not acceptable, but expected. One of those things you just have to deal with in the first game. I thought they rallied back. I thought they competed. I thought we started to finish some plays. But that first drive was all of a sudden, oh my gosh, it's not tag off anymore. It's not thud. We can get them to the ground. They did a couple really good things offensively with how they wanted to kind of you know, get their good, that little running back out in space. But I think once we settled in, our guys did a pretty good job. What was that first drive like for you? That was kind of a chaotic times with some penalties and different things yeah. happening. It was kind of like a, a roller coaster of emotions when you want to look at it. I, I think I stayed pretty calm, but even on the, the one that got called back, it's like I knew immediately it was a, what was happening. So you're trying not to get caught up with the end result, but you know you got to fix the end result because they're going to come back to it. Kendall made a really good play and made the quarterback go here, and then it, it, it finished back through it. So you wish, it's like, oh my gosh, I thought Kendall was about to pick it off. Um, so it was pretty frustrated with it, and then all of a sudden you just have the ecstatic reaction of what we talk about. Effort solves a lot of problems. Corey Black blocks a field goal. So you go from having some of the worst case scenarios to having the best case scenario. They get no points. They drove down the field and had success. We got to come off the field after a great play and move forward from there. Your guys find themselves facing a situation where you know Central could score there late in the third quarter, tie the game. The mm -hmm. fact that your guys bowed up, did you learn something about the, your guys in the last, say, quarter and a half or so? No, that's exactly who I expect them to be from how they are every day. They compete, they're driven. They, I mean, I know there's a few guys that, that all made really good plays throughout that drive, and it's like, okay, it's time to step up and slam the door, and they, they got that done, so that was great to see. Were you able to enjoy the atmosphere of it all? What was that part of it like, going through the walk and all At, that stuff? The walk was cool. The walk was, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, I spent the whole time wondering where my wife was. <laughs> uh, she sent me a picture, and it didn't come through, because I was in the, meetings and didn't have cell signals so she's like says this is where we are i didn't know where that was so <laughs> people I'm, in orange. exactly so i'm just looking like this because i didn't want to miss my boys um and my mom and dad were here so that was cool did you find your boys i did, did find, okay. oh yeah yeah i found them <laughs> yeah dominic would have found me <laughs> you talked about special teams and corey making that play just how big of a lift were were those block field goals that's huge it's it's you can tell a the effort of a defensive football team by how hard they try to block kicks. I've always been told that. And I think when you turn on film, the first thing you look at when you're game planning a defense is how do they go after kicks? How do they go after it when the back's against the wall? How do they go after extra points? We blocked an extra point, too. I mean, it's not like it was just a field goal. We blocked an extra point in a situation in the game where a lot of guys can be like, meh. You know, it was, it was pride, and I, I like that about our guys. How did it keep being Corey? Was it something you guys saw, or was it just kind of He's really, even making a play. He's, really, he's really fast. Uh -huh. I think we put him in that position. Coach Clements kind of schemes up where he wants that stuff to be. But Corey's got a lot of great speed, and he's got great length, and I think he's kind of a perfect storm with that. Are there any immediate things that come to mind to, to tweak maybe going into next week? Oh, yeah, uh, 7,000. What, what's one of those <laughs> that jumps to the top of your head right now? Not just our... We went into this game with a very limited call sheet, knowing we wanted our kids to play fast. We didn't want to overcoach what could happen. We didn't want to make up or chase ghosts. And we also knew there are certain things you can't you can't show everything right now to what we've done. We didn't show a four-man front. We didn't get into that situation. I wish I would, on third down, I would have loved to have done that a little bit more, really let some guys loose. Um, full back to the flat, to the weak side. It's something that you have to see and drill and see and drill. And one time they called it, and it was just an absolute perfect call by them and a dumb call by me. But the next time we called it where we fit it up and do it well, we can cover it. The guys just need to do a better I need to do a better job of being prepared for that. And we will moving forward. Mike said tackling was an issue early, and then it needs to be fixed. How do you fix that? I mean, how do you – because he doesn't want to go live. You don't you didn't want to get anyone hurt. How do, you, do you have any ideas of how to go and – fix that? No, we just have to emphasize stepping to contact. We have to emphasize thudding up in practice. We have to not always just reach for it. Just thud them up, step to contact. The biggest thing you teach in tackling is step to contact. Do not reach. Don't let your feet die. We can drill that. We can work on that. 
And I mean, there's a lot of guys that, did, you know, they haven't had a lot of experience playing a lot of games. So after eight months, it'll get better.